Gotta move around a little bit. Uh, doing a few episodes on this on the iPad. Just trying to see how this, how this is gonna look and stuff. But kind of catching up on this one as well. I did Midnight Piper Man in the other video, so let's see how this one goes too. Might go a little fast with this one as well. Anyway, this is high class homos by the prince and the princess that are faking to. Uh, are faking their marriage. They obviously don't want to be married to each other. And, um, are basically trying to fake a marriage so then they can divorce and, like, go with whoever they actually want to go with. And it's Prince August, and I forgot the princess's name. But anyway, they're slacking off with the guard, the cook, and some other people. <laughs> yeah, and our last one is when she had the knife out. They're ready to fight. They're poor friends. Who would I get cut? <laughs> I think your job is always safe. Yeah, sorry for this little blurry because I'm on an iPad so <laughs> yeah, the command is just swimming with everybody. So I get my nose real quick. It is at least of our food. And it's funny that they're like in disguise. I stole the food in the kitchen for everybody. You what? <laughs> what did you do now? I brought a wine, so you can just forget about what they literally just said like two seconds ago. A very nice picnic. This is the X. Um, or something I can't remember. I read in a minute. But it's that person. That jackass. <laughs> the chunk. Yes, the chunkiest of Pokemon has broke the internet. It is so damn worth it. I like it. I don't know what Pokemon were thinking. I don't know what the hell they were thinking at Game Freak who are my Pokemon. I don't know what the hell they were thinking, but they made the right decision on putting out the chunk. Like, fuck Tepig. We want the chunk. The chunk. The one and only. The only Pokemon. Oh my god. Are they gonna make the chunk the god instead of Bidu? Like fuck Bidu, I want the chunk. That chunk is superior. Do you know the game hasn't come out yet? <laughs> Hey, 
Yeah, yeah, compliment. Mmm. Yeah, she's been mostly working a lot. So she probably didn't really have time to do hobbies or find something interesting to do. Or something interesting that she would like to do. Yeah, and unfortunately she had to cut her hair. Very unfortunate. That's how she has the best food in the kitchen. I really hope she gets two girlfriends. Because obviously she's interested in her and other one interested in her. And I'm like, come on. Like, you, you can have both. <laughs> you probably shouldn't have asked, but now it's too late. I like to draw people. You actually draw pretty well. Cool. You get plenty of time to do stuff. Uh, I think they already did that in one of the episodes. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Get my pad a second or two. Hi, Pat. Oh, 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 there we go. fancy as a ball. Oh, um, I'm reading this book called Spitfire. I can't put it down. I got it on my phone on Amazon Kindle and I can't put it down. It is too damn good. I haven't even read the other book that I got, which I need to put on Kindle because, um, <laughs> the freaking, I, I, I need another bag. I have a smaller bag for like, uh, like a, I guess purse, but I, it is literally a small ass bag. It isn't too big, just for like putting books in, my wallet in and stuff, you know, personal stuff. Um, but I didn't realize that the book was so damn thick that it doesn't fit. It, it takes a majority of the space in my little bag. So I need to get another bag for it. I can't really see from here um, what the name of the book is, but I know it's an LGBT book. I've been wanting to get for a while and I made a mistake. So, uh, I'm glad I didn't make that mistake with Spitfire, but Spitfire is hella LGBT. It's dragon in it, other mythical creatures in it, and, um, it's a poly story with a prince. His dragon is bonded to him, um, if you don't know what bonded is. I would say look up the Omegaverse. I, I would say it's kind of similar-ish, but this one, I'm like, whew. Oh, it, it is the, like a little a, a different level in my opinion. It, it, it goes in not too much detail, but enough detail to be like, yeah, this is gonna be good. And also the prince's um, soon to be wife, basically. So yeah, it's a poly story. I think there's gonna be someone else in the picture as well. It 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 is just. I can't stop putting it down. I'm on like chapter 7 of it. I don't know how many chapters are in it. But holy shit. I can't put down my phone. That's how good it is. And I'm surprised. It's, it is that damn good. It's a good fantasy story with a poly relationship, poly relationship going on. And the characters 
are just so damn good. Even the side characters are fucking good. Like, my the side character, if I say side characters are good, they're fucking good. It is a very adult book, so I would say 20 and up for this fucking book. Yes, 18 and up, but I would honestly warn you, <laughs> it would be 20 and up in my opinion. But it's a damn good book. It's a damn good book. Called Spitfire by Maya. I forgot the last name, but I know it's Maya, M-Y-A. I went on chapter 7, and I'm already in love with it. Like I said, I can't put my fucking phone down for two seconds without reading this story. It's so good. And you can get... You can just look at the images. Don't even read anything about it. Just look at the images. Put in Spitfire, Maya, and just look at the images. You'll probably fall in love immediately with just images and art of it so far. It's really damn good, in my opinion. And ironically, I found on TikTok out of all things, so that was good. And I immediately bought it. That's great also. And it's, oh, uh, it was so good. Like, if if the cover art and what people drew fan art of that book and the name of it called Spitfire, if that doesn't excite you, then you can go about your day. Let's say it's 18 and up, so teens beware a spitfire it is a literal spitfire believe it, it is a spitfire but just saying teens beware of this book especially if you like buy it physically I'm, I'm not joking if you buy it physically just be careful because it is heavy you sure they're not up there <laughs> yeah, they're bored too. Yeah, I could not be in a rich family. I'd be a me trying to run somewhere else. Although they both had like pink, reddish hair. Can we start saying that now? I got an unusual taste in partners. And that is kind of a mouthful. But I'm glad they say partners. Instead of, you know, like specifically saying men and women, they just say partners. Which I'm glad they say that in this comic. That's very nice. You're like me. You're like me. Let's hang the fuck out. Now let's go. But they made a friendship. <laughs> Too bad it's just us. Let's go wreck the punch. Let's go wreck some shit. Let me make my best friend. Yeah, 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 whatever. Really? Ugh. Oh. 
uh, what happened to Marigold's party again? I was this, that, damn it. <laughs> the fist bump. Love it. Did she have a pet rabbit now? You must still in a flashback, right? Should <laughs> I go at it real quick? <laughs> Pink in my outfits. I uh, know what you're about to say, but. Okay, I think I might have some time for one more. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. He is in charge of stemming the ball. I know you need a day off, relax. You got seven days. Yeah, you can chill for one fucking day. You gonna invite? You gonna invite both of them? You gonna fight everybody there? Ooh, what about her? Come on, and fight her. And fight her. Yeah, invite her. Yes. <laughs> I know. They kind of cut. They said just friends. Like, mmm. Playing games and buying stuff. Uh, just to keep walking. Get the rest of your food. Did you get? 
I really hope it's not a sass or anything. Another important character. Hmm. That sounds gonna stop me wrong. Got curious. To get you some food. These are the leftovers that I have. I know I wish we can give you know leftovers to people. Or you stay home with us. They paint their nose black. That's a nice thing you did. Hmm, who's that? What? What is it? No, Lucas, what is it? I know you're suspicious, but what is it? The frog! <laughs> I swear, artists do this so much. They put like little tiny things in there. Like I think in Castle Swimmer is like the little fish they put in there. Um, they got a frog. At the end of the episode, you see the little frog. It does have wings. <laughs> yes, this is an actual pet. Like, oh, even better. But I think yeah, and it gets swimmers like with the little fish and the, the little crabs too. It was the little fish. Oh, is it going to town town? Okay. Oh they want it. And now we have a witch who maybe might go out with Odette. I'm just guessing. Uh, we mean end of second end. Okay, so now we know why there's a little frog at the end of the um of the episodes. So I'm guessing. They're going to end up in a castle, working for the princess, getting their, like, wanted sign off the, um, thing. Or, like, be bigger than whatever else she did. I mean, I'm not sure. But, yeah, how far am I into it? Let me see. Yeah, I have a lot of other things that, um, I need to read. And I probably didn't get that far. <laughs> oh, I did not get that far. I was like, this is good, and, uh, yeah, high class homos and boyfriends, I would say I definitely recommend those two. I think I talked about Spitfire earlier, it's fucking, there's a hair in my eye, whoops, my hair got in my eye, but, uh, yeah, totally worth three, you know, I didn't get that far into it right now, because I got stuff to do. But, uh, yeah, it is pretty damn good just for, what, what, four episodes I went through? Five? I don't know. Something like that. But, yeah. <laughs>